excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Wooly came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. There was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. Very good. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. They were all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue. So Willy, she moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were here. The hat. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a 
message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. No, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan, sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. You know, it was my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? He missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy bag. I didn't miss my sailor hat anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. Take here we are. Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig, this is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We Let's, had to uh, wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name there are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go see what's right then there. I saw some pandas. Hi. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? We're going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. 
We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions. The tigers. Whee! And the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, wasn't it? I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willie slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end, he took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot to bed. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I bought a 
wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hey, Tig. Changes are scary, but you know what? Changes are fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Ta -da -ta -ta, ta -da -ta -ta. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey. And you'll make Baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. Go and and I can have fun changing my room around. <laughs> Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willy in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox! It's my toy spider! Who is it? Oh, it's only Willy. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willy. We've been together since we were. The fun fair. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Wooly came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flashed! Roundabout went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls. What ride do you want to go on first? Angel wanted to ride on everything! Who wants to go on the alligators? Me! shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's a juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are noisy. Fun fairs worry me too. 
I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig. Fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. Look, that's the rock and roll music from the doldrums. Wee, woohoo, way! Those squeals are from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, dilly, beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The Carousel Roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the Hong Kong roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! It's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Willy. I love.